when we look at all children with ALL, about 15 or maybe 20 percent will have their cancer come back or relapse. We still have good treatment in that setting, um, and so many of those children can be cured as well, but it requires additional intensive treatment to do that. Uh, in addition, for, um, for ALL treatment in general, um, the, uh, there are some potential long-term effects. It depends on exactly what the treatment is that's given. Um, but, uh, for example, children may receive a, uh, a chemotherapeutic agent that can affect the heart. And so children who do receive higher doses of that medication will have their heart function followed for a lifetime to make sure that it stays healthy. We have worked to keep doses in a, in a reasonable range where there's a low risk of that. And one of the um, newer developments in this treatment is that we've also been able to add a medication that helps to protect the heart. And, and still gives children the same good outcomes from, uh, from leukemia treatment. So, uh, so people are working to make that possible side effect better, and it's, and it's pretty uncommon so far. Um, in addition, the, um, some children receive radiation therapy for their ALL, and that can have some important side effects as well. Uh, one of which is a risk of second cancers. That risk is very low, um, but it's obviously a very important one and, and something that we would never want to have happen. One of the things that we've done to try to reduce that risk is by uh, limiting the numbers of children who get radiation therapy for their leukemia to try to give it only to those children who absolutely need it. Uh, and we've also worked over time to reduce the dose of radiation um, so that uh, the risk is a little bit lower for that as well. The other important potential side effect of, of the radiation treatment and perhaps of the, the chemotherapy that's given into the spinal fluid as well is that there's, a, uh, there's some risk of uh, learning problems from that. Uh, in general, that risk is very low, but for a very young child who gets radiation, that risk be, may be more significant. Uh, and so that's part of what we think about as we think about whether a child needs radiation. So those are some examples of the kinds of things that we can see late in life. Um, in general, though, most of our patients with ALL are actually very healthy. And uh, they're quite healthy even during treatment much of the time. And, and certainly, the vast majority of them go on to live very healthy, very normal lives. And so that's a wonderful thing uh, that we get to do is, is see these kids grow up into, into healthy adults.